So you know how everyone loves the idea of Blender Geometry Nodes and as well the idea that you can actually generate buildings with it which makes it even way more interesting. But then there is a couple of things that lots of people have been asking for like generating buildings automatically and doing all of that and it is one of those things that actually makes sense that we don't see often. Well, today Beautify is here and it's a beautiful blender generator that can solve all of that problem. A huge shout out to Pavel Oliva for making this available as this is a free blender generator that just simply makes sense. So for those who want to take a look at this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can pick it up and do some amazing things. Oliva is actually doing some more stuff as he also promises to make some kits ready and drop them right here. So it's also worth mentioning that you have to come back and check sometime later to see if that has been done. So with that said, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So we've already loaded up this file before, so I'm just going to go over and open up the Blendify 1.0. The Blendify 1.0 opens up as a beautiful Blender setup that allows you to generate buildings and do some very creative things. Now, most of you guys would be like, okay, I think we've seen this before, but this comes with a couple of twists and tricks up its sleeves. So how this one works is super, super simple. You have your object selected. So all we need to do is just go in and go over to our properties section, go over to modify. And from here, we can start doing some beautiful stuff. So you need some floors. Okay. So we can make the floors a little bit more. And if you like to make copies, of course you can. So you can make copies, move them aside and yep. You don't really have all of that unnecessary instancing thing that just wants to make you, you know, smash your PC. So you have this going on. You can increase the number of floors. You can do some max number of floors, some minimum number of floors, all of that. You know, all these beautiful things you would like to get, you can have them right here. But then where it starts making sense is your ability to edit this thing on the fly. So what we're going to do is press tab on the keyboard, turn this off. Now we are in the edit mode. So within your edit mode, if you tap two on the keyboard, you can now select a part and you can extrude it. So first off, let's actually look at something. What we're going to do is this, that if we choose for some reason, we choose to scale this down and we turn this back on, this is what we get, looking pretty. Now, if we also would like to sort of extrude some parts, we can also extrude those parts. So extrude the part like this, turn this back on, now you get the gist. So this makes a whole lot of sense and you can do as much of these things as you want. So you can tap E on the keyboard, tap Y, pull that towards the part, and you start noticing that you have everything working. Now, unlike other ones that you get to work with, this particular generator allows you to use any module type that you have. So in this case, if you take a very close look here, you would notice that we have a container or sets of containers, okay, or which I would actually call containers, but they're called collections. So sets of collections that have, you know, tons of different collections inside. So they have sub collections. And right here, you notice we have the ground floor, middle floor and top trim. So what this means is this, that you can go over to Quixel and you can download tons of things from Quixel. Link also is going to be in the description. You can download all of this from Quixel and you can use them alongside. So all you need to do is grab all of those and put them in their respective collections. Now, if you want to see how these collections actually look, if I fire up a previous version of Blender and open up the file, you would see what we get. So this is basically the collections that we have and exactly the same way or the same hierarchy that this has been put together is the same hierarchy that you need to put yours together. And that is how you start creating your very own custom setup. But then if you're working with Quixel, it's also worth mentioning that Quixel belongs to Epic and there are licenses that you need to also adhere to, which means that whatever you do here, your final render should be somewhere in Unreal Engine. But regardless of that, this is amazing. The second thing that makes this particular generator super, 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 super amazing is this, that it also works with the OSM tool. So what is this OSM tool? The OSM tool is the OpenStreetMap, which is a Blender add-on that just makes you work super easy. So what this tool actually helps you do, or what this add-on actually helps you do, is it opens up the street map and you can use that to automatically generate tons of building replicas and, you know, terrains and all that stuff directly in Blender. And the best part as well, it's free, which means you can now combine what you have here alongside with what Pavel is giving and create some amazing things. So how does this work? If we choose to go over to file and create a brand new scene and just say no and install the OSM add-on, which you can easily do by going over to edit, go over to preference and let's just type in the word OSM, install the OSM add-on, put a file path where your downloads are going to exist. Then you hit the bugger menu and save. 
Once you have this done, the next thing you need to do is tap N on the keyboard. So if you go over to the OSN section, you can now import stuff. So by default, once you just go ahead and hit import, this is what you get. This takes a look at the internet, gets all of the OpenStreetMap data based on the longitude, latitude that you've given, and automatically that would create a street map for you. So if we zoom all the way out, you can now see that we have the street map. You know, super easy, very, very convenient. But the best part with the Beautify tool even makes it way, way interesting. So we're going to go over to File, New, General, and Don't Save. And of course, get rid of that. Tap N on the keyboard, go over to OSN, and scroll all the way down. Now we don't want to import forest, and we just want to make this 2D. Next thing we need to do is go right here where we have the file, and then we need to locate the beautify generator file. And once we have that, we can set whatever name we want. In this case, I'm just going to set this to building and just leave everything the way they are. Now, once we have that, we can now click on the word import. And this is also going to do the very same thing that I did earlier. Take a look at the internet, you know, get the height, the width, all of those beautiful things. But this time, instead of getting those with the very basic geometry shapes that we had earlier, it is going to represent those things based off the buildings, which makes it even way more interesting. So if we zoom all the way out right now, we have buildings. So how cool is this? You no longer need to start making these things by yourself. Automatically, let's say you just want to make like a building on the horizon or something like that. This just simply makes it worth it. Now, the best part about all of this is you can mix buildings together and actually edit these things on the fly and create amazing, amazing stuff. So a couple more housekeeping things we need to do is go over to the camera, just increase this camera so we can see more stuff. And I will throw in a simple plane. Good old fashioned plane always comes in handy, you know, just to get that base right. So I'm just gonna turn that down, turn this down, turn this down, and we have it. All right, so some other thing which might make more sense, especially when you're building things like these, is to throw in some sky so right here we have the physical atmosphere which is also pretty cool you can use any other one that you have there are tons of beautiful ones on the blender market and speaking about blender market i guess there are some discounts so i'm going to put them in the description as well so you can use any of these ones and then fire up this tool and now you start getting some pretty cool looking skyline so we could go over to the elevation and let's see what are we doing with the elevation so let's go all the way to this part you know you can have that and this is running right here in eevee and you can make changes to all of this depending on what you want so we can increase that a little bit or we can sort of decrease that a little bit like so and this starts coming in handy and by all means if you like to start texturing stuff there are also tons of add-ons that can help you texture stuff like the santos one is here and uh, lots of other ones. So you can go ahead and take advantage of all of this and start creating your own very, you know, interesting city, interesting landscape and start creating things for your games. So this is more like it. For those who like to get this, you can go over to Pavel Oliva and check out some of the beautiful things that he has. And speaking about Pavel Oliva, if we go over to his main page, he also has a stylized water material, which is dope. I mean, this guy is doing some amazing things for Blender community. So you can get Beautify, which is number one. And then you can get this other one as a take home package. And at the same time, you can mix it up with this free one, which you can also get, which is the Blender OSM street map and terrain for Blender add-on. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at all of this, or probably you want to get some things from Quicksell, or you are looking for discounts that is currently available on Blender Market, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.